Hi guys, it's Lynn here. I hope you're having an amazing day. Now guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can remove the dreaded mealybugs from Mammy, La Mammy Larry a cacti. Now this is obviously for all types of cacti, not just Mammy Larry, which are these ones here. But the reason why I'm doing a separate video, especially on Mammy Larry a cacti, is that they are a lot more awkward to remove mealybugs from than normal cactus plants. And um, I have done a few videos on removing bugs and things like that before. And obviously with cacti, these little tools come in handy. Um, obviously cotton wool balls buds and little brushes to get in between the nooks and crannies these are really good these are actually from probably find most chemists will sell them um behind the makeup counter sometimes you ask and um you'll be able to buy a pack of them as well but if not an, an old mascara wand or what they used to call a pipe cleaner <laughs> and these are great to get right in between the spines now that's what I do with a lot of the normal type of cacti, even the heavily spine ones. But with Mammillaria cacti, especially some of the hairy ones, or in this case, this one is probably the worst type to have to remove mealybug from. Because as you can see, the, um, the spines are so ten in, sort of tensely tight together that you can't just pick them off. Like you see these books and it will say, oh, remove, remove mealybug just by using a... A brush dipped in isopropyl alcohol, which is this here, and just wipe it off. Well, that's okay if you've got normal leaved plants or even cacti that aren't heavily spined. In this case, as you can see, there's mealybug here in between the um, in between the dense spines. The spines are so tight, you can't just wipe it off with a cloth or a brush. And even this isn't going to do anything because you cannot physically get in between the spines at all. So in this case, this, this is why I'm making this video because... This is a completely different method of treating mealybug. Now, I swear by isopropyl alcohol. Um, I'm not against using chemicals if you have to. If you, if you can get where you leave a good systemic insecticide that you water into the soil, the plant takes it up in its plant body, then it will kill the insects when they chew and gnaw on your plants. Unfortunately, to get a good systemic now is very hard because a lot of the original chemicals have been banned, obviously understandably, because they're not good for your health. And also because of the bees are rapidly in decline. So I'm 100% in favour of that. But when it comes to plants, like some of the old remedies like Malathion and that, that used to knock mealybugs um, humanely sort of gone as well, kill them um, rather than sprays where they just have a slow death choking. Um, they seem to be impossible to get now. So the isopropyl alcohol is probably the best method to use and it's safe to use as well. As long as you don't drink it, obviously. It's not alcohol to drink, guys. <laughs> but I've never had any problems using it neat on my plants. If you're using it on, on plants such as orchids or succulents, like especially echeveras that have the lovely colour hue sometimes on a lot of their leaves, um, I would actually recommend diluting it possibly 50-50 rather than using it neat. It'll still work. But as in the case with these type of cacti, they're very thick-skinned and I, I have no problem just spraying it neat. And it, it does does kill the bugs now obviously when it comes to these i just show you this bad case of mealybug the reason why i'm doing this video is because i do check every um excuse me, the next door neighbor's mowing the lawn i hope you can still hear me but um i do check for plants the bugs every single day me and hans we get up in the morning we have a little routine we have our wholemeal toast and jam and then we go around the plants and check for buds and bugs <laughs> but this plant actually was actually right at the back and this particular stem was going right towards the wall and of course we missed it so I thought great opportunity to do a video to show you what I do in this case and it is treatable so don't panic if you think how am I going to get this off now best to do is to use a spray bottle in this case as you can see one of these ones here they're easy to get in most garden centers and things like that and then all you need to do is just tip some of the isopropyl alcohol. Now you can use whatever method. Some people prefer to use other type of um, bug killers. But I find isopropyl alcohol. In this case I use 100%. But I would say use one minimum of 80% if you can. 100% even better. I got this off eBay. Um, it is sort of relatively cheap to buy on eBay. If you buy it from a chemist it can be very expensive for a tiny little bottle. So as you say I bought about 5 litres for something like 40 euros. Which works out far better um the postage wasn't too bad but um yeah a little bit in there that's it and uh spray it on and then what you're going to be doing in this case 
is what you want to do is make sure you thoroughly soak all of the spines at all. It's no good just spraying it and leaving it. You actually want to get this nozzle, put it onto the stream rather than the spray and completely soak the plant. And um, this is especially with some of the mammillaries that are very hairy, like um, the hairy type of cacti. I'm just trying to think of an example now. There's plenty of them. They're beautiful white hairs. Again, you have to really thoroughly, thoroughly spray right in between the, the plant um, areoles to really thoroughly. Now, as you see, you see here, now what you want to do is jet on the jet spray, get it to uh, go in here. Does it take a while to... Uh, might need a bit more in here, guys. <laughs> You can tell I don't rehearse my videos, can't you? But then I like it natural. Um, probably put a bit more in. Um, don't want to be put in uh, too much. I might as well fill this up anyway and keep this spray bottle handy because it keeps an eye on any others that uh, see any bugs. You just spray them. As you say, it's safe to use, unlike a lot of the... Um, the bug sprays that are on the market now, you can't just spray them willy-nilly because they're not safe, they're not good for you either, bad for the lungs, as well as your plants. Now, again, let's get to the spray. <laughs> as with everything, you have to get it going for bits. That's it. Haha, <laughs> just have to soak it up. And then, what do you want to do then? Get it on the jet spray. Spritz right in between. There you go. Thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly soak. Mm -hmm. and you don't want to leave any part of the plant uncovered whatsoever you want to make sure you completely go in between the spines in this case I'm probably going to start at this end now obviously some of the alcohol is going to go onto the top of the surface of the soil I'd recommend that you probably give the plant a water first um, obviously always best to do this at the growing season but if it's the middle of winter you don't want to be watering but um, it will dilute it means that if any of this alcohol lands on the top surface of the soil it will be diluted rather than the plant drinking it neat and uh, start from there obviously and you want to go through the whole of the plant so it's completely uh, soaked uh, the alcohol i find i say doesn't really hurt plants mammillaria type of cacti this doesn't hurt as you can see it's this the alcohol is brilliant it just sort of melts mealybugs on contact i find it's the best stuff to be honest with you a lot of the even the systemics on the market they're no good and all it does really is it just the the plants especially mealybugs just get immune to it and it makes makes them even stronger and um what you do then is i use this little brush to go in between to make sure that the plant is completely covered and um, as you can see the mealies are completely gone it just dissolves them on contact guys it's brilliant and since i've been using it as i say i miss this plant was facing the wall um, I've been using it on my other plants and the best ever with uh, preventing bugs. And then I'm going to be doing this on a whole of the plant. And um, I'm not going to bore you by showing you the whole thing. But um, I'm going to do the rest of this now. And then I'm going to um, show you, going to turn it over and do the, the underside. But obviously the trick is to, obviously it's one of these bushes go right in between. So, so the spray is completely and utterly... You see, you want it really, really soaked. Now, some people also submerge. You can actually have a bowl, dip it in the alcohol, but to be honest, you'd use a lot of alcohol that way. I find this is the best way to um, blitz them uh, bugs completely. And you want to make sure that the whole entire plant is completely covered, guys. Um, there's no chance that no mealy can survive that. As you said, this plant, thankfully, that it's only the one side of the plant that was affected. The rest of the plant's pretty, uh, pretty healthy, which is good. But as you say, if you see some mealy bugs, they're literally going to be a lot more of them. So I'd recommend treating the whole entire plant rather than just the area you find them on because uh, they can guarantee there'll be young ones and nests all everywhere. As you see, again, use one of these brushes. And the only reason I'm doing this obviously is to comb the hair, the spines I should say, 
to make sure that it's thoroughly gone into in between all of them uh, areoles which are these little tufts that the spines come out of <laughs> if you're wondering what an areole is um, just want to make sure that it's completely thoroughly soaked so they're all uh, gone and, uh, oh, back to the original one again now obviously what you want to do then is turn the plant over because just because they've all got rid of them now Again, like I say, what you can't see, they can guarantee there's going to be more of them. So you want to turn it around and um, do the underneath. Again, thoroughly spritzing. Lifting the, uh, gently lifting the arms up, spraying underneath. It's important that the underneath is done because that's often where mini bugs lurk. Like I said, just because you can't see them doesn't mean to say that they're not, they're not around. As I say, if you water, hopefully if it's the growing season um, and you're not the middle of winter, um, water the plant first so any alcohol that does land on is going to be diluted. And that's really it. Now, I wouldn't really recommend doing this in strong sunlight as such. The sun has just come out since. Um, but I'm going to leave that plant as it is. And um, that one's done there. Now, I've got another plant similar to this. And although, I, thankfully, I've gone through with the magnifying glass and the little loop, and there's no signs of mealybug on this. Uh, this is actually perlite. If you think it is mealybug, it's perlite that's come out um, the top there. So that's not. But um, I am still going to treat it anyway because it was close to the other one. And as you said, they're very similar. And um, at least by treating, if there is any mealybug nests, then it's a good uh, to know that they're not going to survive. So again, just... Uh, and it's such a cheap way as well, like a lot of these sprays, not only they're very bad for the environment, they don't really do, they're not very effective anymore. Most of the systemics on the market um, are not what they used to be. So and they just seem to be producing these super bugs, <laughs> which means that your meal is just going to be more resistant than ever, um, which I found is a problem. Um, but this is great. Now, obviously, this isn't really going to be effective against spider mites which is another common pest of cacti, fortunately. Um, but this is really the video on just how to get rid of oh, merely bugs running out of, uh, as you say. Thankfully, this plant hasn't got it. But this is mainly a video because I saw them on that. It'd be a great opportunity to show you how you can... Um, that with, with these type of spine cacti, you can't just pick them off. As I said, the only way is thoroughly spraying in between or the submersion method, but you'd use a lot of alcohol that way. <laughs> and that's really all it is to it. And um, that goes with the hairy cacti as well. And uh, there you go. No signs of any mealies now and just keep an eye on it. And I'm going to keep this in the conservatory, obviously away from the sun, the alcohol and the silver, so, excuse me, kicking the... Um, kicking the stand um, whenever I see any I'm gonna spritz them so there you go guys I hope you found the video useful and, and hopefully you won't have to endure this uh, mealies on your plants if you have mammy lavas but if you do you know exactly what to do isopropyl alcohol which I've mentioned in a few videos is I think very good for bugs it's safe and also it's um, not going to be hurt, harmful to the environment either and um, that's the best thing I can recommend for these really hard to reach uh, cacti bugs that you get like mealies in between the spines so there you go guys i want to send you loads of love heaps of happiness and tons and tons of cactus power as always from ireland until the next video guys bye